Well, if you plan to vote in today's primary uh, election via absentee ballot, it is so important to remember that those absentee ballots will only be counted if they are received by the time polls close at 7 p.m. tonight. And we know a lot of people are worried about this because of the mail delays in Georgia. It could impact the arrival of your absentee ballot. 11 Alive's Liza Lucas has been following the postal problems for us since the very beginning. Joining us this morning with everything you need to know to get your vote counted, Liza. Good morning, Aisha. Yes, I'm in Norcross this morning. Live for you ahead of polls opening. And as you mentioned, state and local election officials, they have been on the case when it comes to mail delays in Georgia. They have been working with the Postal Service to make sure ballots are expedited. But there is some critical information voters need to know. It's a problem 11 Alive has been investigating for months. Mail delays stemming from the new regional processing and distribution center in Palmetto. And with the primary election here, those delays even more concerning. USPS has had issues in the last couple of months. 11 Alive spoke with Gabriel Sterling with Georgia's Secretary of State's office about the impact when it comes to absentee ballots. Postal officials recently notifying state election officials in a letter that it would be, quote, intensifying resources in the region to oversee our mail flow leading up to and through the May 21st Georgia primary and through to the stabilization of service performance. We really hammered them for a while and over the last 15, 18, 15 days, they've done a good job of deploying new personnel and putting in new processes. They put a new policy in place where they're sweeping every single distribution facility, every postal facility looking for these ballots. An inside source at the Palmetto facility shared this flyer with me, which instructs employees to hand off any ballots they see to a supervisor to expedite the process. As of this morning, around 66% of absentee ballots have been accepted, but Sterling says 34% are still outstanding. So if you voted by absentee ballot, here's what you need to do to protect your vote. If you've mailed it in the last week or two, it's really important you can go to the My Voter page and see if that ballot's been accepted. If it hasn't been, uh, we strongly encourage you to go find your polling location and make a plan to go vote in person if you want to have, make sure that vote is counted. Yes, local election officials also telling me they are pulling out all the stops to make sure all those votes are counted. Now, if you need to head over to those polling locations, Sterling says when you show up to vote in person, let a poll worker know that your absentee ballot is stuck in the mail. They will then cancel it so you can vote in person. I've asked USPS many times about their efforts to expedite this process. So far, they have not responded to my latest questions. But when it comes to accountability, we do know that the Postal Services Office of Inspector General does have investigators here in Georgia during the primary season, and they're going to be reporting back when it comes to the process as well. Live in Norcross for you this morning, Liza Lucas, 11 Alive News. All right, Liza.